What's up, guys? <clears throat> it is Spoot from Fort Mesner Gaming. Uh, we're doing Genshin Impact. I'm going to do sort of a fast forward from where you start to where you can kind of look at re-rolling. You have two points in the game. Uh, both are after major story issues. So I'm going to be buzzing through the first part of this very, very quickly uh, and then stopping when appropriate. So just going to set the fast forward this real quick. So, <clears throat> people have gotten down the re-rolling to uh, roughly... Whoa, boy, that you don't do that. Apparently, that breaks everything. So, this is just me. So, this is over... Probably about an hour of me playing the game, but the actual time to the re-roll we're just going to kind of jump to. So, we just saw the dragon, you meet up with Amber, kind of like what you would expect. <clears throat> I think I did one of the, so you get to the city after you do Amber's quest. We're roughly about 17 minutes in, but probably about 6 or 7 minutes of this were me going through the menus and everything, so once you know basically how to re-roll, you stop having to do the majority of this. You get to play Panzer Dragoon against the dragon. That's pretty sweet. I do the survey, because why not? You get to meet Jean and Lisa for the first time. And this is sort of where we are going to go regular speed. So we're roughly 28 minutes in, although a lot of this time has not been spent on actual, like, running through and gunning. Um, if I were to do it now, I could probably figure it out. Oh, here we go. Summon. I think I did both Noels first, if my memory serves. <clears throat> Or maybe I only did the one. Oh yeah, I only had enough currency to do the one. So this was my first wish, and after uh, we get through this, I'm going to show you the next part where you can get your free summon. It's Adventure Rank 10 gets you one, and then right after you hit the end of the three temples to start the main storyline. Got me a razor. Dude's actually cool as shit. I got the Noel, and then I got Deluc, everybody's chase boy. Uh, he is not required to do high-end content, but he is very, very much recommended. Apparently, he makes things a lot easier. Who knew? Uh, so that was my first roll. Pretty decent by all standards. Not too bad. This is just me sort of going through. So you get sent to the temples. So it's exactly really what you would think. Um, this is 40 minutes of gameplay. So if you speed run it and you know exactly what you're doing, you can hit the first roll in about 18 minutes, which is a lot for a game, especially for five-star rates as low as these. When you finish the temples, um, that's probably another 15 to 20 minutes on top of that if you are running hard. Skipping everything, no collection, no nothing. Getting your adventure rewards is good, because as soon as you hit A10, you get a whole different roll. I believe Lisa's temple is the last one, yeah. But, I mean, looking at the time on this, I'm an hour into my playthrough. Now, like I said, this is roughly about, like, if you were motivated and you knew where you were going, you could probably do this in 30 to 40 minutes. Um, but that's still a lot. So, like, I get it when people are like, I don't want to re-roll. Like, I feel real bad for Tachi. Tachi spent way too long trying to get into this. 
All right, so we finished Lisa's Temple, just to show you that this is what it is. You can also see my UID at the bottom, so if you guys want to send me uh, friend requests, feel free. So this clears up. Uh, we are adventure rank eight, I believe, seven. So with about another 20 minutes of grinding, you could get a freebie, um, but they do give you enough to just have a straight pull. Which is what you're seeing now. After I spend like 40 minutes figuring out that there's two different gotcha currencies because I'm an idiot. I don't even think I summoned on, I think I finished Noelle's banner off first. No, I needed one more. Oh, here we go, I did Venti's. Smart. This was a pretty good pull for me. And yes, I have gotten insanely lucky in my first, uh, my first go at the game. As you can see, all of these swords. Oh wait, Fischl. Oh, so good. So good. That was those. Rushing through to try to get adventure rank. Eight or ten to get the other one. Pulled on the, I believe I pulled on the Noel banner on this one, because I was already like one away from it. And I got Barbara, Barbara, who is adorable, by the way. Uh, so from here on it, these are just sub pulls that I've done, just to sort of show you guys the sequence and everything. Uh, I'm going to set the playback slightly faster to kind of get through these. Got another official. I have one dupe official, which is really good. You have to actually claim it to get her thing. I was dumb. I wasn't paying attention. All right, got another set of summons. This is on the regular banner. I got a bow for official, although not really what I wanted. And then my last one was, I don't know, I think that's it. All right, so, um, just giving you guys the run through if you're really motivated, you can do this in about 30 to 40 minutes, doing the first roll, second roll, and possibly A10. Is it likely? No, it's a lot of time. Any five star is good. Primarily, you are looking for the Wind Archer Venti or the Fire Swordsman uh, Diluc if you're looking for meta. Uh, all five stars are actually pretty good, um, and four stars that you can look for are uh, Jianling, whom you get for free once you get to 20 and do the dungeon. Uh, you can also get um, Barbara and Fischl, who are considered very, very high rate uh, four stars that you probably want. Uh, Razor is also pretty good, but uh, they do different things. Um, I don't want to comment on like what is the absolute best tier list. Uh, I started off as the Animo Twin uh, because I have not pulled a single wind unit so far and I feel pretty justified having used him specifically because with a, a couple of upgrades he can be almost as good as venti uh because you get all of his constellation stuff essentially for free for end game stuff so not a bad play for any stretch of the imagination it's, it's pretty fun so that is pretty much it for re-rolling so your first run through is going to be a little bit much because if you don't know where you're going you're not going to know what to do your second run your first roll you should be able to do in 18 to 22 minutes. The second re-roll will cost you another 15 to 20, and then getting to A10 for the free 10 pull is gonna be roughly another 15 to 20, maybe even a half an hour. So like, if you have an hour to blow, you can get three re-roll chances in the game. Um, they are changing the pull system as of the next update, 1.1. Uh, I'll go into that deeper in another video that I'm putting up uh, probably tomorrow. 
but the too long didn't read is they're reducing the cost of summons they're also raising the pity rate so it's about half the rate so don't worry if you have spent a whole bunch and not gotten what you wanted most of those crystals should be getting refunded um they haven't officially confirmed it yet but it's pretty much all said and done in, in the forums from some of the devs um they are looking for a slightly friendlier sense which is good because having two gotcha currencies is kind of wild um, I, I definitely did not uh, really appreciate that. There's my boy, D-Luke. And Razor. Man, that's so cool. Dude turns into an electric werewolf. It's awesome. And so that is um, the general reroll strategy. So you can get to... You beat the dragon about 20 minutes. You do the temples at about 40 to 45 minutes, uh, and then you can get to A10 in about an hour, five, hour, 10. Um, if you're motivated and quick, you could possibly cut those times down. The fastest I've seen it done is uh, step one is in about 14 minutes, uh, but that dude skipped everything and just beeline straight four points. Um, he was using shortcuts the whole nine. Like he was, he was like positioning himself really well. Uh, I wasted probably about a half an hour getting to the first one, so. It's doable. Um, be careful about rerolls. So far, their stance on rerolls are if you are using reroll system to sell accounts, they will ban the accounts. Um, we don't know what the overend is. I haven't heard of anybody getting banned, so I think they might be playing it by ear to gather data. Uh, it's also really hard to kind of gauge that if you're just rerolling and dumping an account because the activity on it goes pretty much to null after your first couple of logins. Um, so that is it for the reroll, just showing you guys vaguely how to do it. I didn't want to go too much in depth because like, I, you don't need to watch a half an hour video. We're already at 12 minutes and I think it's a little too long at that point. So uh, who did you pull? Are you still rerolling? Who are you looking for? Are you doing Mr. Fire Phoenix over here? Or are you looking for a waifu, perhaps Mona? Um, give us your feedback. Tell us how you're liking the game so far. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that nonsense. But tell us how you're liking it.